Hi, it's Dr. Lori, the PhD Antiques Appraiser. I'm here with Real Bargains. These are the bargains that people are finding at thrift stores, yard sales, antique shops all over. And you can find them too. You know, I hear a lot of belly aching. Oh no, we can't find anything. Everything's overpriced. We can't find it. I don't know, people are finding it and I'm showing you how to tell. So I want you to see what it is. You gotta pay attention to the videos. You gotta read when I send you an email. You know, you can find this stuff. Here's my first real bargain. You're gonna love this. A Yokut's basket comes from a video caller who bought it at a thrift store. The Yokut's basket is a beautiful coiled woven basket. See the coiling, the, the circles, they go around and round and round as they coil the material, the weaving material. And notice the pictorial style or the decorative side of the basket. The basket's about 10 inches, so it's a relatively big basket. However, this particular basket is really, really nice in terms of condition, and that's what you're looking for with these Native American baskets. The basket is from, of course, the peoples of the San Joaquin Valley in Northern California, and these Native Americans are making these beautiful baskets early in the 20th century. This one dates mid-20th century, early to mid-20th century. They had 30s to about the 60s. Um, beautiful example, wonderful condition, and the pictorial uh, design is the diamond back snake design, and it's repeated around the whole vessel. It's a beautiful example. It's in beautiful condition, too. They paid $4 for it at the thrift store. That's right, four bucks. Ugh, what a real bargain. You know what it's worth? I bet you can't guess. $2,500 or what? Baskets like this, of this size, in this condition, resell for. That's what it's worth. My appraised value during the video call, $2,500 for this $4 thrift store purchase. That's a real bargain. This next real bargain comes from a video call. You can book a video call with me, too. They're easy to book on DrLoriV.com. And this is the video caller that said to me, Dr. Lori, I was in the thrift store and something caught my eye. Do you ever notice how things catch your eye? They're usually on a lower shelf or a really high shelf, or they're, they're never in the place where you're looking, like they're never at eye level. I'm like, look up or look down, forget eye level at the thrift store, because most of the good stuff is hiding somewhere, or you really have to look through it. So she said, it caught my eye, it was on a lower shelf, there was a stack of these dishes, and I really thought, wow, those are kind of interesting, they kind of look hand painted, but I don't know anything about Asian ceramics. So here's what you need to know. First of all, if there's a mark on the back of it, that probably will tell you something about information about the actual piece, origin, age, quality. And the pieces are, they, these particular pieces are thin porcelain. They're very nice and they're hand painted. They're rose medallion. They're decorated in a manner that is consistent with, of course, Chinese manufacturers of the early 20th century. And notice the roosters, the rooster pattern, of course, on these particular plates. So my video caller says, Dr. Lori, you know, I figured I'd take a chance on them even though I didn't know much. They were $1.30 to a plate. So I bought eight dinner plates. I figured I can't go wrong at eight, 10 bucks or so. So I bought them for $1.32 each. And I bought those eight dinner plates and I left. And I figured oh, I'd do a video call with Dr. Lori. She'll tell me what they are. I'll figure out what's going on with them. So then I decided as I was going home, maybe I should go back and get the rest. Well, the other things that were there, there were, she left behind seven smaller plates, four, in fact, um, square, rounded square plates, a cup, and three saucers. So she left behind a good amount of matching plates. Now, it's a partial set. She didn't have a complete set, a service for eight or anything. Um, it, that, those weren't there at the thrift store. But she did say, gee, you know, I've got these eight plates. I really should have picked up the rest. So she turns the car around. A lot of you have done this. I, I mean, people do this. You know, go, okay, I'm going back, you know. I do stuff like that when I'm shopping. Oh, I'm going back. I got to get it. I'll do it now. She turned around. She goes back to the thrift store. She buys the rest of it. So she pays about $30 for the partial set for eight dinner plates, seven smaller plates, four square plates, three saucers, and one cup. She says, I, I just bought them all, $30. I thought, you know what? I'm going to see what's what. I'm going to go to book a video call with you, Dr. Lori, and find out. Well, and here's what she got. Chinese, made in China, rose medallion, hand-painted, hand-gilded, that's right, there's some gold leaf on these too, porcelain plates, a partial set. A beautiful example and in very good condition for most of them. She had one damaged cup, the cup was damaged, 
but not broken into pieces, but damaged. And she said, well, I'll just let the person who I resell it to know that this is damaged when I list it. Always a good idea for you to, of course, be honest, show a picture of the damage. That's going to help to maintain, of course, your credibility with your potential buyers, too. She said, I'm good with that. What's it worth? Your partial set is worth $850 for all the pieces that I listed in the condition that I discussed. So that's a real bargain for those beautiful plates made in China with those lovely hand-painted roosters. So if you're at the thrift store or you're looking at an online auction, what do you do? Do you pick the stuffed animals or do you think, oh gosh, they're going to smell or they'll be dirty or they'll be stained? What do you do? A lot of people don't realize that the stuffed animals in good condition can be worth a lot of money. My case in point. Here's a video caller who bought stuffed animals, a lot of 25 of them, at an online auction. So she buys 25 of these stuffed animals, and they're all different manufacturers, including Stife. Four of these stuffed animals are made by Stife. Now, they're not particularly old Stife pieces from the early 20th century. They're late 20th century pieces from the 1970s, 80s, and such. But having said that, they're nice pieces, and they're in good condition. So she buys these in an online auction with, you know, um, 21 other pieces to make 25 total. She finds these four Stife pieces, and she asked me about them during a video call. And I said, okay, so you get them online. She said, yeah, I bought the whole lot, and I bought the whole lot for $6. So 25 pieces, different types of manufacturers of stuffed animals for $6. All right. I said, well, tell me about condition. You know, do they have an odor? Is there any pen or ink mark on them? Are they stained? You know, kids get food stains on things. You know, what do they look at? She goes, they're beautiful. They have no stains. They have no odors. They're in good condition. And they're jointed. You know, when they talk about um, teddy bears being jointed, they, of course, have their limbs and their neck move. Okay, so I said, well, let's go through the Stife ones. Stife, of course, the German manufacturer, the great toy manufacturer of the late 19th, early 20th century. Very well known. People look for those teddy bears all the time. And she said, well, I got one. And all four of these, she got a teddy bear in this group of four. All four of these have their original yellow ribbon and their original ear button known to recognize the, lo the logo tag of Stife. Fantastic example of what you can find if you're looking at online auctions. So this particular piece had some wonderful animals. Bunny rabbits. I love bunny rabbits. I think bunny rabbits are wonderful. I've collected them for a long time. I like bunny rabbits. You know, stuffed bunny rabbits as a little kid. I like bunny rabbits. Puffins. This is a puffin. I was I had the good fortune to see a puffin in Alaska, and it really was one of the thrills of my life to be able to see the habitat where puffins actually live. And they're very fast. They fly really fast, the puffins. So it's a stife bunny rabbit, a stife puffin, a stife walrus, and a 16-inch stife teddy bear. I mean, right out of the chute, you got to know that that piece is going to be valuable. Beautiful example. She paid $6 for all four of them. What are they worth as a group? $365 for the four stifed stuffed animals. I advised her that she should resell them individually and not as a group. And she could command $365 when it's all said and done total. Beautiful example, wonderful pieces. It was a real bargain. This next real bargain comes from a video caller. And don't forget to sign up for my newsletter. My newsletter, of course, is available at drlaurieV.com. And you can sign up. It's free. This next real bargain comes from a video caller. And she bought this piece, which is a trinket box, little tiny porcelain trinket box, very French, very frou-frou <laughs> trinket box, hand-painted porcelain with a metal, of course, surround that hinges so it opens and closes. She bought it for $6 at an online auction. She bought it with a group of five others, so she bought six of these trinket boxes in a lot for $36. And she said to me during the video call, she said, I looked at it and I thought, well, they're so pretty and so delicate and I could just have them here in my home and enjoy them until she started to do some research and then talked to me in a video call and found out they could be worth a little bit of money. So I said, well, first of all, let's talk about the hand painting and, of course, the figural molding. It's a frog. 
sitting on a lily pad. And then, of course, it's decorated with the lily pads like a pond environment around the whole trinket box. And you'd open up the trinket box and you can put a little earring or a little ring or something in it, a little safety pin, whatever you have in the trinket box. Inside, it's marked in French. In the French language, it says hand-painted, made in Limoges, France. So it's a Limoges trinket box. Anybody who knows about collectibles knows that Limoges trinket boxes date all the way back into the 19th century. They're very, very desirable. And of course, they're made in the famous pottery manufacturing center of Limoges, France. Now, having said that, this particular piece is really beautiful in the way it's sculpted and molded at the top. The frog is adorable. And then the painting is all hand done. So that's also a lot of labor intensive, a lot of creativity, and of course, handiwork. It's beautiful. Good example. Time period, it dates to the middle years of the 20th century, and it is signed. It's a great piece. It's in beautiful condition. No chips, no cracks, no damage, no losses to the paint. It's in great shape. For $6, she got a piece worth $250, and that's a real bargain, too. I'm Dr. Lori. I'm here to tell, help you recognize the quality pieces that you can find at thrift stores, antique shops, or yard sales. These are real bargains. I hope you find your real bargain real soon.